All right, so we don't have a lot of time. Um, I'm in the middle of a sheepdog response course. It's, it's our, it's a company that we teach people how to fight for their lives and how to protect their families and their friends and their tribe. So you learn a little, some fundamentals of shooting and, and um, of fighting and it's, it's a lot of fun, but we are on our lunch break and the team is gonna be here in a few minutes. I have to make them food. So this is what we're gonna make. I have some delicious smoked, well it's first pan seared and then finished in the Trigger Smoker Wagyu. I'm gonna mince this up as fine as I can and then we're gonna make leftover tacos. This is not the famous Tim Kennedy, Kennedy family taco recipe that, that originated in Cambria, California where I learned from my grandma and then to my mom and now to myself. But this is your lunchtime in a rush but fancy taco um, extravaganza. We're gonna do this with, who had one of those awesome butterfly knives as a kid? Did you? Well, that's cool, because butterfly knives are awesome. This is like a butterfly knife, except it's a machete. This is my new toy, and I'm gonna see if I can, I have a machete. I have a butterfly knife machete. This is so cool. Nice, all right, here we go. We're off and running, not a lot of time. The guys are gonna be here, they're gonna be mad. Ingredients, pretty simple. We're gonna do our own taco seasoning. This is what I'm gonna put in the taco meat. I'm gonna splash it with lime. But um, first, foremost, we're gonna mince up our Wagyu. Look at that, look at the marbling in that. Oh, it's so beautiful, it's so lush, it's so... Fantastic! Well, that was sharp. That was still sharp. You can use any tortillas that you want. We're gonna be using some flesh, some flesh, some fresh flour, some flesh, ha, deadly delicious. I didn't mean to say flesh, that was, that was a Freudian slip. I find sound effects are helpful in almost every situation. Sigmund Freud, speaking of the Freudian slip, he once, and he was famously quoted in saying this, that if you, can add sound effects to the things that you're doing, you are the most socially conscious and interpersonally developed human, or you are a very highly functioning person when it comes to you know, your chi and your id and all the different levels of, man, that is really good looking meat. I question if I have enough meat because the men that are gonna walk in here in a few moments, they're not small men and there's not a few of them. They are large men, and there's lots of them. So because this is, you know, I cooked it obviously medium rare when uh, when I cooked this the other day, and you don't want this to cook at a low temperature in the pan. The hotter the pan, the better. And oil is key. You want a good high temperature oil. In this case, we're going to be looking uh, using this chili garlic infused extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna put that in the pan. I'm gonna get the pan crazy hot, super duper hot, fantastically hot. And then I'm gonna throw the Wagyu in there with all the spices and seasoning. And then right before I'm done, I'm gonna finish it off with some lime. Actually, me... the, the accoutrement, the garnish that I'm gonna put on it, we're gonna have um, just uh, some salad, some uh, sriracha, some Donia green verde sauce, and then the cheese is going to be Fine, shredded, delicious, fantastic Parmesan. Keep looking at my phone as it's lighting up because they're gonna be like, we're in route, ETA, five minutes, landing hot, prepare for infill. And I'm like, ah, the food's not ready. And then they're gonna yell at me. So this particular Wagyu, my friend Shane, I asked him what he wanted for dinner because he was gonna come over for dinner. And he's like, I want a Wagyu and lobster offhandedly, he thought he was gonna be a snarky little prick. And um, so I went to the store, and I, well I first asked my son, I said, son, what do you want for dinner? And he's like, I want steak and lobster. And I was like, ah, what is wrong with my, the people in my life? Uh, he seriously said that. So I went and I said, uh, give me some gigantic lobster. They give me some gigantic lobster. And then 
we grab this Wagyu, and here we are. Look at that, I wanna eat it so bad. I'm gonna do a really basic guacamole. Perfect, 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 all perfect. I compost, so I have to get these things off first. I hate these stickers. I don't do this with my machete. Um, man, so I think leftovers are this majestic, so if, if I was walking through an enchanted forest in a fantasy novel, and I see little elves running around sprinkling magic, I see fairies running through the trees, flying their tiny little wings, moving about like every which way, like hummingbirds, and I saw that unicorn, and that unicorn was like, <laughs> beautiful gorgeous horn sticking up in the air. And um, maybe it's a rainbow, a rainbow uniform, unicorn. And that unicorn walks up to me and says, I will grant you one wish. What would you like? I'm gonna look at that unicorn right in its beautiful rainbow colored eyes, partially distracted by the spike sticking out of its head, but not too distracted because I wanna make a spear out of it. Back to the wish. Then I'm gonna tell that unicorn that I want have leftovers, an internal, endless supply of leftovers delivered to me, my leftovers, daily, because I do some great things with leftovers. Little fact for you, every time you smash an avocado with a machete, a freedom fighter in the jungle gets its freedom. I feel like my hands are pretty much in a blur right now, moving so fast. So if you have, like these are, look at this, Pretty perfect avocados, perfect, 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 perfect. Little tiny spot of not perfect. Just cut that out. Hello. I'm sorry, you're in jail right now. Do you wanna come in? There you go. You wanna help me? She just came and attacked me. Came in and growled at me and shook the gate. You wanna bite? You like avocado? You gonna go back? Okay. So my avocado recipe, I'm gonna barely call it a guacamole because this is almost just an avocado dish. This is really cool. More lime, more lime. Save one lime for our tacos, the rest go in the avocado. Okay, avocado dip recipe. Onion powder, garlic powder, garlic salt, black pepper, jalapeno or serrano, depends on the freshness that you want in here. For every three avocados, one lime. There's something really cathartic about smashing these limes in here. Listen, it feels like ligaments getting crushed. That brings me a lot of joy. Don't over, don't over mush. All right, garlic powder. Garlic salt, black, and mixed peppers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, see my shirt? Violence advisor. Okay. It's like I knew I knew that I knew the urgency of staying in the zone. So if you want to, these are serrano peppers. If you wanted these to be spicier, you could leave the seeds in them. So I'm gonna take most of the seeds out so I don't hurt the sensitive palates of my dudes. Man, so I think tacos and coffee is the best fuel for midday fighting. I don't know if there's a finer fuel for a Texan than tacos. 
Yeah, you can all critique my knife slicing and using abilities. Listen, my knife skills are not for vegetables, peppers. My knife skills are for So here we go. We're gonna get this pan nice and hot. We're gonna wait until we hear that sweet sound of the oil going, put meat in me, which sounds like this. Here it is, ready? Yeah. That oil is ready. Again, we wanna keep it nice and hot. We're not recooking it, we're just kind of searing it. Chili powder, so that was garlic powder, chili powder, cumin, cumin powder, garlic salt, and last but not least, smell that. Woo! Seared Wagyu, salad, verde sauce, Ooh, it's hot. Make one right away for us so you can do that video thing, you know, where you like photograph it and think it's important. All right, here we go. Wagyu leftover steak tacos. Mm! <laughs> the meat's like butter, it's melting in my mouth. But then the salad crepes this nice crisp, the guacamole with lots of lime that freshness. Mm. Mm. I'll eat all of them. I'm not gonna even make food for these guys. I'm gonna eat it all. Unreal. All right, so that was our leftover steak tacos. We used Wagyu, made some fresh guacamole, simple ingredients that were just sitting in there. That took me start to finish 19 minutes to do a pretty fancy, pretty delicious, I mean. All right, so tell us what you want us to cook. Tell me not to talk with my mouth full. Give us comments about what you like, what you didn't like. Ask me about the knife. Look at this thing. This thing is amazing. Boom! I love it. All right, I'm gonna be uh, out working on the range for the rest of the day. So I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Stay safe, stay free, keep cooking, loving life. This is gonna be so good. I'm out.